Hello, pandas. Rena Opalbear here. So, as you all know, PewDiePie is the world's most greatest YouTuber. He has 47 million subscribers, which is really awesome. But, <clears throat> here's my question. Why are people making rude videos about PewDiePie? Sometimes I think they're just doing it for attention or just wanting to do it so they could get PewDiePie on his channel and that they watch and that he watches their videos. And PewDiePie has been dealing with hate all along. <clears throat> Do you really think he gives a fuck about what people says about him now? He laughs at it because nowadays when YouTubers get hated on, they just laugh because it's amusing when somebody hates on them because they're just jealous at the fact that these YouTubers have more money than they do, their channel has more subscribers than they do, and it's funny as fuck because it really is. And uh, also, a lot of furries have been leaving Google Plus because of harassing and bullying on Google Plus. Now, I don't know what the hell has been going on with Google Plus lately. I have not been on Google Plus whatsoever because I've been busy working at my job. I haven't had time to get on Google Plus. I'm usually mostly on Facebook now. I mean, I hardly get on Google Plus like I used to. And sometimes I'll message my friends on Hangouts, you know, just talk to them, see how they're doing. <clears throat> but, um, <clears throat> um, you all remember Wolf Alpha Striker, right? Well, I know he's my, he's my ex, but sometimes I still care about him. I don't know if he watches my videos, but I don't know if he does, but when we was together, I really wanted to fix him up really much because he had so many problems, so many issues, and part of me wanted to deal with that, but part of me just didn't want to, like I wanted to let him go. One time I almost about broke up with him, but I stayed because I have a heart, and the fact that I did love him at one point, I did. But now, <clears throat> we hardly talk. For one week, we was talking, but then after that, he started chasing after other people online that he doesn't even know. And it concerns me when he does that because, I mean, yeah, I'm his ex-girlfriend, but I still care. I'm just concerned for his safety online and for his family. The fact that his parents doesn't even trust him to be on Google Plus because he's been talking to strangers a lot. I mean, yeah, in the beginning, me and him was dating online, and the fact we never met in person, but we video chatted a lot, and his own mom even saw that I was a real person, because I feel like his mom never saw me as a stranger, but sometimes she didn't quite trust me for her son to meet me. Like... Like, I'm so gonna hurt your son if I ever met him in person. No, I wouldn't. I would just be like, hey, well, you stayed online. You know, it's cool that we met in person. You know, let's hug it out, you know. But there's one thing he did taught me. He taught me to never give up on somebody that you truly love. And I am with my first boyfriend who I dated back in high school. And... As many of the fights we have been in, not once did I ever say, I'm leaving you. I never said that because my heart stays true and I love him. And also I'm never giving up on him. Never, ever. Now, I don't know if he wants me to reveal his name, but out of, but out of respect, I'm just going to use his old YouTube name because somebody hacked it and deleted his account. So, Wolf Alpha Striker or Dan McWolf. If you ever happen to come across this video, just hear me out. 
You are your own person. You are your own personality. You are your own heart. Don't let somebody take you for granted. And if you happen to find love one day, even if it's not the girl of your dreams, it's got to be somebody. It's got to be somebody who truly loves you for you, would do anything for you, would die for you, would be married to you, would want to have a family with you, who would stay loyal and faithful to you. But on your part, you have to keep the girl happy. You have to keep the girl. You need to make her stay. You need to tell her, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to stay true and faithful to you. And I promise on my heart that I will never, ever, ever hurt you. Never. That is my message to you. But I will say this. Love yourself before you go and love someone else. Before you crush their heart. That's what I have to say. Sorry about that. It's kind of a little bit emotional right there. But as I respect, I do still care for him. Even though we're exes. But I still care for him. That's all. I, 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 I never said I loved him. At one point I did. But now I just only care about him. So leave it at that. Anyway, basically, let's just stop the bullshit with PewDiePie. Because I think PewDiePie just needs to be left alone. He's doing his own thing. To all the bros, yes, you miss his gamings, but he still does gaming videos. But now he just talks about his life, his personal stuff, his adventures with other YouTubers. But to the haters who hate PewDiePie, just fucking leave the poor guy alone. Come on. He makes more money than you ever do. So just fucking stop with the bullshit. Alright? I know y'all have put your hate on me. But you don't be. Do you think I give a fuck? No. And also to Sorasha, or whatever the fuck the bitch's name is. Fucking keep your damn words to your, to your fucking mind. Leave PewDiePie alone. We don't need to hear your fucking crap about how you fucking hate on vegan vegan people. If vegan people want to eat vegan food, they will fucking eat vegan food. So why don't you just fucking shut your mouth for once? And why wants to fucking hear your comments from the peanut gallery? Okay? That's what I have to say. So, overall... I know I hardly make videos once in a blue moon, but I will try to make videos as I can from time to time. So, and I haven't been doing forecasts lately because I don't know. I just been too lazy to do it or just didn't want to bother with it. So, but if I can, I will do a forecast eventually. So, and to Jacob Mitchell, you and I may have some beef, but does it look like I give a fuck? No. Mr. Mitchell, you can hate on me all you want. You can take away my subscribers, but you will never, ever take away my pride, my dignity, my furry side, my channel. And I'm pretty sure my pandas aka my subs would not leave me for your fucking hypocritic channel so enjoy your day Mr. Mitchell and go fuck yourself alright that's all I have to say I'm Rena Opal Bear like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye bye